Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic is about Ahmadiyya. One of you, he contacted me, he said he's from Puerto Rico and the Ahmadiyya, they built a center for them there and they are trying to invite people to join their cult. So what is Ahmadiyya? In front of me in the screen, this is the official website of Al Ahmadiyya. Uh, and they have a caliphate, by the way, in case you do not know. <clears throat> and the caliphate, he put a feather in the top of his head uh, which is unique, you know, a feathery uh, caliphate. However, this is not really important for us. Before we start, do we have any anyone here? Because I, I'm sure there's a lot of Ahmadiyya listening. Already before we start, they gave me uh, 24 dislike. I mean, Ahmadiyya are very, very, very nice people, by the way, to the point they give you 24 dislike without even hearing you. I mean, can you imagine? So this is what they do with my books on Amazon. They go, they give it uh, like a bad star, you know, bad review, but they did not buy the book. It says there he, he's not, he did not buy the book. So how you, how, you, how you view or review a book if you did not buy it? Those things happen only with Muslims. They can review any book without reading it. Who need to read? They are the same as their prophet. They are illiterate, but yet they can review your book without reading it. It's a, it's a miracle. Jibreel, Jibreel, my brother. Hmm. Now, if you are an Ahmadiyya, you have the right to remain silent or you call us. Is that fair? Which means if you don't like what we say, please correct us. Otherwise, you agree. I'm going to open my Skype and only Ahmadiyya can call me. No other person can call. All right? Let me open my Skype. <clears throat> Give me a second. Do we have any Ahmadiyya already? I'm sure we have. I mean, 20, 24 dislike for nothing. There is at least 24 Ahmadiyya there. And by the way, and by the way, normal Muslim will not give this life because Muslims and Ahmadiyya they consider each other enemies. <clears throat> Let us see. Okay. Let us see. Um, I'm just logging in. Give me a minute, please. And you will notice after we uh, finish broadcast, how many Ahmadiyya they will say, this guy is lying to you. This is not telling the truth. This is not the truth, you know? Well, you, why you don't call me now? And show us what is not true. You know what I mean? If there's anything we are saying here is not true, well, you better call us. Take advantage of the opportunity to show everybody that this guy is not telling the truth. Like there's a guy, he is an atheist. Uh, he posted in the previous video some, you know, about the Bible. But this guy, he don't dare to call me. Uh, to prove his point, uh, my my Skype is taking a little bit of time to log in. Give me a second. Uh, come on. Oh boy. What's wrong with Skype? Anyway, it's going to be uh, like it's uh, you know giving me this uh, circle you know to log in. Look like it's going to take some time. Maybe because I did not say Inshallah, brother. Um, but it's going to happen sooner or later. Just give it some time. When it's on, I will let you know. Still uh, logging. So 
The picture in front of you, the one we put it in the title, and it won't appear on the screen in front of you, this guy, he called himself the Messiah. He claimed, literally, to be the Messiah. But then if you read his books, you will find that this person is mentally ill. In one of his statements, he said, what the Messiah can do, if he was in my place, he can do nothing like what I do. So how you claim to be the Messiah, but the Messiah cannot do what you can do? I mean, have you ever heard of a mad person more than this? What the Messiah can do? Okay, so who are you? I'm the Messiah. So how you are saying you are the Messiah, <laughs> but the Messiah cannot do what you can do? <laughs> and what exactly you can do? Can you explain to us? Do we have any Ahmadiyya? I don't know what. I think I need to restart this Skype because it's taking forever to uh, to make it work what's happening here oh boy i will restart maybe that will fix the problem i will restart skype uh when you say nobody can do what I do and the Messiah cannot do what I do, you just confirm to us that you are the false Messiah. Now I'm going to ask the, the Ahmadiyya. The Messiah, he was able to make the blind see. He was able to make, uh, to heal the leper. He brought people from death. Uh, according to the Quran, I'm just counting for you what the Quran is saying. Uh, uh, you know, he fed thousands of people, you know. Uh, he can tell you what you had in your houses. What this uh, guy who claimed to be the Messiah, he did. Who is Ahmadiyya when I count for me some of his miracles? Any Ahmadiyya? Who is Ahmadiyya in the chat, please? By the way, I did not start my topic yet because I'm waiting for somebody who is an Ahmadiyya. He will call us. Honestly, because I want you to hear how the Ahmadiyya, they respond for what we say. We don't want to do like Muslims, you know, they bring two people, they are uh, saying the same thing, you know, like a monologue, like two people attacking a religion. I don't, I don't like to do that. That's why when I say, okay, only a Muslim can call me uh, for a reason, because I don't want two Christians talking. I mean, uh, okay, we knew the point. Okay, you Christians and they are Muslims, you don't like what they believe in. We got the point. But when you hear from two people from two different faiths, then you hear the real argument. So who is an Ahmadiyya? I'm repeating. My Skype is on. Finally. Who is an Ahmadiyya? I'm not going to repeat myself many times. I know you are there. Is willing to call us. Anyone in the chat saying yes? Any Muslim? Uh, sorry, I mean any Ahmadiyya? Until now, no Ahmadiyya. Now, I'm not going to waste your time. What is the easiest way for a Christian to fight Ahmadiyya cult? Anyone can help me? From the Christians, who can help me? How, how we can expose Ahmadiyya? The easiest way. Which means you can kill Ahmadiyya in less than three seconds, not three minutes, three seconds. Anyone knows? Ali or Ahmadiyya? Do you like to call him Mr. Ali? My Skype is DB TV. DB TV. You can contact one of the admins, and the admin will send me your Skype in case you could not find me. Any Ahmadiyya would like to call us? Please guys, be nice to those Ahmadiyya. They need our help. You see, we are attacking the topic, not the person. The topic, the topic. You know, the false, the fraud, the prophet, the false people, 
people who claim to be prophet those are our target it's not those people who follow them those are poor people they've been born into such a cult and if you yourself if you are born from a family they believe in such a garbage you will end with them mostly so be easy on them but Ahmadiyya being tortured in Muslim countries because they are minority but if the Ahmadiyya are majority they will torture you too once in the TV a guy he called about beating the wives and the Ahmadiyya TV in Arabic he said so if your wife she is rude what do you do with her beat her Ahmadiyya in English is not the same as Ahmadiyya in Arabic they are very sneaky especially I'm talking about their leaders when they teach and when they speak in English, they say, no, this is not a beating wife. But when they speak in Arabic, it's because the, the majority of the Arab, they agree with this. 99.9% .9 of the Arab Muslims agree that beating women is right. So Ahmadiyya speaking to the Arab, he is saying, yes, we should beat them. If your wife is not nice to you, what do you do with her? I made a video about it, posted in YouTube. The cowards in the TV of the Ahmadiyya, they reported for copyright after five minutes. Five minutes, not even five minutes. All right. Now, I'm still waiting for. Uh, we have, I think, a caller. Hello. Bitch, you are a bitch. You fucking old man. You are a fucking bitch. You will burn in hell forever. I swear, my mother's life will burn. Hmm. Are you Ahmadiyya? Your mother is a filthy Ahmadiyya. You filthy bitch. You are. You will burn in hell forever. You fucking. So you are. Bitch. So you are a Muslim reciting Quran for me. Shut the fuck up, buddy. You, you, you are. Why, why your mouth? Why your mouth? Why your mouth is very filthy? Can you why, explain uh, to us? Why, why Sam Shamoon's mouth is very filthy? You are accusing him right now, not me, you stupid idiot. I'm accusing who? Accusing Sam Shamoon of what? Of his, of his filthy <laughs> mouth. <laughs> okay. Well, obviously, obviously, you are a son of a bad woman. Because if your mother, she was good, she will teach your son, her son, how to speak. Filthy, like your mother. Hello? My friend, your, your mother is a dog Here giving go. birth Here to a go. filthy man like you. Here we go. Your mother should be thrown at you <laughs> giving birth to a dog like you. <laughs> oh. you feel the old man 24-7 behind the screen. You have no life. You have no life. You lie about Islam all the time. Very okay, can you can you prove to me? Can you prove to me? Can you prove to me? Okay, can you prove to me one lie I said? If I has over one hundred lies, you have over one. Can you can you prove to me from the hundred lies? Can you can you show me from the hundred lies? Okay, can you show me from the hundred lies I said? Okay, so you are just you are just a you are just a kid. Are you going to show me one lie or hang up on you? Shut the fuck up! Can you see? 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 You are you are filthy. You are filthy. Coward like your prophet. Filthy, coward like your prophet. You have nothing to say. Filthy mouth. You see, I allowed him, by the way, to talk because I want you to see what Islam is. If this person following a good prophet, do you think he will call, he will use the F4 to me, to my mother, to, to what my mother have to do with this? But because he don't respect his mother, so he want me to say the F4 to his mother. This is why I believe you are a son of a bad family. Your family did not teach you how to respect your mother to the point you go in the street and you say to people, F your mother, because you want people to say the same back to your mother. If you respect your mother, you will never say such a word. But obviously you don't care. You want to step on your mother. Do we have any Ahmadiyya want to call me? You see, all of them, they are the same. They say you are lying, but okay, show me one lie. They don't do that. <laughs> and you know, like an old man. Uh, by the way, your prophet was a young man. He was six years old. What your, what old man mean? You know, I don't know what does that mean. Is that supposed to, let us say, for the sake of argument, you don't know my age. Let us say I'm an old man. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> the best example or the best way to fight this cult is to show the truth and the truth will set you free if this cult 
give good fruits, we will not see such a core. He will call me, he say, okay, let us argue, let us debate, let us know. He, the F word, how many times he used the F word in less than 30 seconds? Imagine what kind of a family, they recite the Quran every day, they were here. Hello? Hear him again. I used to be an Ahmadiyya. Okay, well, you used to be Ahmadiyya. All right, we will take your call, the one who used to be Ahmadiyya, after we finish, if you don't mind. We want an Ahmadiyya to call us. Any Ahmadiyya? Anyone? <laughs> uh, no, my friend, I want only Ahmadiyya to call me, please. Only Ahmadiyya people can call. Anyone? Before we start, I'm giving you opportunity to provide to us some true information about your religion. Because then after we start, you will say, after we finish, after we hang up and we're well done, you will start saying this guy is lying. Anyone? CP doesn't care about his age, he is uh, energetic. What does that mean? I mean, guys, I don't know, people, people don't be silly. None of you know me, none of you know my age, none of you knows how I look, so avoid this stupid conversation, none of your business. Anyone? Don't be silly like, like those people, you, you are being silly. Why you care even for my age? What does that mean? I'm applying for a job for you? <laughs> don't be shallow stupid stupidity is illness is sickness let us say somebody is 18 years old but he is wiser than somebody is 60 years old which one we listen to we listen to the 18 listen to the wise stop talking about things that have nothing to do with our topic And how many times I told you how I am? I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan. What does this do have to do with my topic? Weirdo. Now, any Ahmadiyya before we start? May they may the last call. Anyone? All right. The easiest way, and I want all of you to remember to fight the stupid Ahmadiyya cult is to ask an Ahmadiyya how your Ahmadiyya Messiah he die. You see, there is many ways to refute a cult, right? But there's a death and the death proved to us that this person cannot be the Messiah. Ahmadiyya, is it true that your Messiah, false Messiah, he died because of diarrhea? Is it true that your Messiah, the false Messiah, Muhammad Mirza Ghulam, he died because of diarrhea. Any Ahmadiyya have a comment? Ahmadiyya is the name of a cult. What are you? T I mean, why are you guys are you listening? To what, what is Ahmadiyya? This is the name of the cult. Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he is their leader. His name is Ahmad, so they call it Ahmadiyya. Sony phone, it's made by Sony. Hmm. So, is it true that Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, the false claimed Messiah, he died because of diarrhea? Any Muslim Ahmadiyya will say to me, this is a lie.
Any Ahmadiyya want to say to me, this is a lie? Hmm? How the Messiah who make the blind see, who raise people from death, the one who did not even die and then he went to India, then he died in diarrhea. Any Mahmadiyya can tell me? Anyone? Not everybody is here from the start. It's your fault, my friend. By the way, we Middle Eastern, we Arab, we don't care for the start of the movie. We, we like the end. We sleep most of the movie, and then we wake up in the end to see. I mean, why you wanna waste your time? Just take a nap and come at the end of the movie. Any Ahmadiyya can tell us why the person who claimed to be the, 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 the Messiah, he died because of poo-poo. Anyone? I mean, look, so Allah, he sent him as a, a Messiah, and he was married for three years, by the way. This guy, he was married, the mother of Jesus, for three years. And then he became the Messiah. I don't know how that worked for him, but look like this is a transgender thing. I mean, like he was married, and then he became a man. Okay, no problem. So Mary, she gave birth to Messiah, which Messiah is Mary. And Mary was is the mother of the Messiah, but the Messiah was Mary. So Mary, she gave birth to herself. Uh, that's good. That's a good thing. I mean, we got a point there. If we ask Zakir Naik about this, he would say, Brother Fitter, first of all, Ahmed Mita Ghulam, he said that he would be the mother of And then he became the Messiah. And I'm getting to be here. How he became Mary and he became the Messiah. Okay. How he was Mary for three years and then he became the Messiah. Hmm? Once I debated uh, Ahmadiyya, and he denied that his Mirza Ghulam, he died because of diarrhea. Any Ahmadiyya here, he denied that too? Who is a Mirza Ghulam Ahmad follower, deny that your false messiah, he died because of diarrhea? You see, because I don't like to show things, I mean, I, mean, I have to prove it, right? This is the Ahmadiyya website, official al Ahmadiyya al Islam.org. Let me show you the. Actually, I will give you the, the, the website. Hold on. I will give you the link so you guys can open it and read in your site to, to, be, to be sure that this is Ahmadiyya website. The Ahmadiyya here, they are trying to refute that Mirza Ghulam did not die because of corona or cholera. Not corona, sorry, cholera, you know. And one of the signs of cholera, it make you have a diarrhea, make you die dehydrated and you die from that. So look here, they are saying, in the top of the article, in the Ahmadiyya website, how did Hazrat, Hazrat mean Mr. in a funny way in, in, the, in, in, the, in the Mengal language. Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad as as salatu alayhi, you know, Allah, he pray on him again, die. Another ridiculous accusation has been made by Hazra, uh, uh, that Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, may peace be upon him, died in the toilet. Uh -huh. He did not die in the toilet. <laughs> Therefore, they try to maintain that how can he be true prophet if Allah allow him to die in such a dirty place? It shows that he must be false prophet and Allah punish him for making him making such a claim. It is sad to see how low they will stoop to try to find weakness against Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, may peace be upon him. Allegation to be made, and such allegation to be made, then there need to be proof. But where is the proof? Guys, where is the proof? 
<laughs> the proof in what his wife she said his wife she said he cannot go no more to the bathroom so he was doing poopoo in his room and then he fell in his in his poopoo and look what they said here to prove to us that we are wrong just to show you this when i say the stupidity is amazing i i believe in that you know stupidity is amazing look what they are saying Hazrat Mirza Ghulam, may peace be upon him, sadly passed away in 26th in uh, uh, of May 1908 at the age of 73. He was uh, buried by Qidan. By the way, the Ahmadiyya, they have a, a, a Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. He made the graveyard. He called it the, the, the grave of Jannah, which means the grave of heaven. And whoever is buried there, he will be in heaven immediately. Yeah, they put you there, they go, you poop from the other side in heaven. All right? And you have a very, a very like a, it's very expensive place to be buried in, but in order to be allowed in in, in terrain, in the train, the doctor examined him to ensure he carried no contagious disease. The doctor issued a death certificate, but there was no mention of him dying because of cholera, as alleged, or dying in the toilet. I mean, the do <laughs> the doctor he will say he died in the toilet. What does this have to do with that? <laughs> Instead, uh, instead, instead, they record it as uh, complication arising from severe diarrhea. Your Messiah, he, he died because of severe diarrhea. This is their official website. And they are trying to refute those who claim that Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he died in the bathroom. He fall over his poopoo. Look at the answer. He died because complication arising from severe diarrhea. So you are trying to convince me that this guy is the Messiah and he can die because of a severe diarrhea. I'm really convinced. That's it. This must be the Messiah. That's it. I mean, how we can how we can reject him to be another Messiah? He did not die in the toilet, brother. He died because of severe diarrhea. So your your Messiah, he was twenty four seven hours until and there's not nothing in his body. All the water is gone. This is their official website, trying to refute us about who is their Messiah. Do even I need to debate more? Now, for sure, we have their books, okay? Which is very funny and very stupid. I mean, this guy is all over the place. In the beginning, he says, there is no prophet after, the, the, the last prophet is Muhammad. And Isa is the last prophet to the, the Messiah. He is the last prophet to the Jews. This is before he announced he is Messiah. He changed his mind. In the beginning, he was not the Messiah. <laughs> Later he became the Messiah. <laughs> no, actually he did not die in the toilet. It's not true. He died. You know what happened? He wanted to do a poopoo, -poo, and they have the dish for the poopoo -poo underneath of him. So he fell in it. So they found him dead in the poopoo. -poo, you know. So he did not die in the toilet. But he, because his bathroom anyway became his bedroom. You know. So, but this is how he died. I mean, you cannot deny. And, and even themselves, they are accepting the fact. As you see, this is their, their this is their official response. This is their official website. He died because of a complication arising from a severe diarrhea. Any Ahmadiyya can explain to us how he can be the Messiah and he died because of a severe diarrhea. So look at this. This cult believed that the Messiah, when the Jewish they crucified him, he he came out of the grave. Okay. That's a good point. So the Messiah, even if you kill him, he come from the grave. But this guy, he died because of the area, he never came back. <laughs> Do we have any Ahmadiyya want to say anything? Anyone? And by the way, we did not start the topic yet. Can you believe it? Because the teaching of this man proving to us that this person is very, very stupid. A little history about this man. This man, he was working in the post office of Her Majesty the Queen of England at the time when the English, they were occupying India. At that time, there was no Pakistan, there was no Bangladesh, etc. 
uh, and the intelligence James Bond team they found they wanted somebody to convince people to join the British army and those Muslims it's against their religion to join an army of, 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 uh, of people who don't believe in Allah so they needed somebody he can make that happen and all the intelligence the French intelligence, the British intelligence, the German intelligence, they use certain kind of people from the Islamic belief to make people join their army. As an example, during the war of Hitler, the muftis of uh, Jerusalem, he announced that a Muslim should fight in the side of Hitler. And this is why it was the biggest brigade of uh, what they call it, the, the, the uh, the one who was killing the Jews, what they call them? I forgot the SSS. They were from Al Bosnia, the Muslim from Al Bosnia and Albania. There's pictures you can find in the internet about them praising Hitler. You know, they, they serve very good for Hitler. England, they understand this message that we can make the fight, the Muslim fight for us, if we can find somebody they consider him as a holy person who ordered them and said to them nothing wrong with joining the army of the British. And this is exactly what happened. They got this guy who worked for them already. He got his salary. I mean, this guy, he's the Messiah, but he worked as a post office man for Her Majesty the Queen. Okay. The first thing he did, he announced that you should join the, the British army and fight with them. And this is exactly what they want from him. They supported him. They put his names in the newspapers, they protected him, they gave him everything he need. Anyone want to get a job, he go to Mirza Ghulam, Mirza Ghulam make a phone call to the bridge, the bridge they get you a job. So he became like a recruiting center for the intelligence of the British intelligence agency. In the same time, a point of power in India where he is connected. And because he's connected, believe in me, I give you a job, I make your life better, etc. One day, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he opened his door and he found a bunch of people who they are Christians. They are bringing him people who they are in disabled chair. They cannot walk. People who they are blind. People who cannot see. People who cannot hear. And they said to him, if you are the Messiah, do the same what the Messiah he did. He closed the door, his door and he refused to, to, to answer for this challenge. Because obviously he's a false Messiah. He's, he's a scam, you know. Uh, and the more you study about this man, the more you find that this person is literally a big fraud. One of his friends, he claimed that we, and by the way, his friend, his most close friend was a drug dealer. I mean, can you believe it? The most close friend to the false messiah, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, was a drug dealer. He claimed that, uh, uh, like, there is a miracle happening. The Kaaba will go around you. You don't go around the Kaaba. If you are someone like Muhammad Mirza Ghulam or his friend. So you go to the Kaaba. You don't walk around the Kaaba. The Kaaba will walk around you. And this has happened actually for a woman I know. I don't know her, you know, but I, I, I heard about her. She, they found with her in the airport a big ball of a black label whiskey. And the police in Saudi Arabia, he asked the woman, who was very old, he said, what's wrong with you? You are coming to Hajj and bring you whiskey? She said, my son, I cannot walk around the Kaaba. So I will drink some whiskey, the Kaaba will walk around me. The madness of this man go beyond imagination. Just read his books and you will see what we are talking about. Until now, we have no Ahmadiyya trying to call us. Any Ahmadiyya? You see, I'm just trying to, to, to get into a real argument. Anyone? Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he claimed that all the miracles in the Bible are not documented and it's not true about Jesus. Ahmadiyya, is that true? That all the miracles which Jesus did, is that true?
anyone. And just to show you how stupid this statement is, because if all the miracles of Jesus are not true, that means the Quran is not true too. Because it's the Quran who mentioned many of the miracles of Jesus. How this guy, he says such a statement? <clears throat> Which is against the Quran. Any Ahmadiyya? I don't know why the Ahmadiyya disappear, but yet we have many dislike from the Ahmadiyya. Anyone? Any Ahmadiyya? We have a 24 dislike from the Ahmadiyya community, yet we have zero call from the Ahmadiyya community. That doesn't make sense, does it? Anyone? So you Ahmadiyya people dislike my video and you go just to go to sleep? The only call we got is from somebody who is a very, he have a filthy mouth and he's not an Ahmadiyya, he's a Muslim Sunni. Hmm? Any Muslim? Look, all those verses about the Messiah and the Quran proving the Ahmadiyya cult, proving two things, by the way. Proving that Muhammad is a false man and Ahmad Mirza Ghulam is a false man. Anyone notice why? Because uh, when Muhammad, he said he is the last messenger or as the Muslim understand it in the Quran, it says that he is Khatimun Nabiyyin, chapter 33, verse number 40. And then Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he come. And he claimed that he is a messenger of Allah and prophet of Allah, and he is the Messiah. One of them is a liar. Either Ahmad Mirza Ghulam is a true prophet, or Muhammad is a false prophet, or vice versa. But you notice here that Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, when he was writing his books, he was writing Quran. You know, first time I was reading the, the book of uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, I noticed how Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he is trying to make the language of the of the book the same as the Quran. Like, you know, uh, uh, I I bought a new iPad, and it, when I used it, I found it was so bad, and it was like garbage, and I took advantage, so I sent it to recycle. And I decide to buy, a, 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 I mean, like, it's it's like this. It's just a stupid, there's, there's no, there's nothing there. When Muhammad, he mentioned that there is a false messiah will come. And he described him saying that he have one eye. But this guy, he have two eyes. So who is this false messiah? How come Muhammad did not notice him? Do you know how many millions they follow this man? And not only that, uh, one of the things Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he come with that uh, Allah have a new name. His name is Yalash. Anyone from those who believe in Yalash? Is he here? The God Yalash? <clears throat> hmm. Huh? 
until now I received no text in Skype. Nothing. No Ahmadiyya. I'm very disappointed. I thought Ahmadiyya would be like uh, calling me and proving me wrong. And by the way, they, when they try to prove you wrong, they try to use the gospel. They don't use their book because their books are stupid. So they try to use the gospel misleading you, mis giving misinterpretation for the book. Any Mohammedan, any Ahmadian, sorry. No one? Okay, let us, let us make it simple. So if you are a Christian and somebody is an Ahmadiyya, he come to you and he say, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam is the Messiah. How you refute that without even knowing their books? The answer is very simple. We posted for you the link from their website, official website, that this man, he died because of a severe diarrhea. All the Ahmadiyya acknowledge that only if you get them busted, which means if you say that to them, they will say that's not true. This is not true. This is the easiest way to, to, to refute this cult without going farther in reading their books. However, if you like to know more, then we can go and read their books and we will see that Ahmadiyya is a messed up cult. This guy, he claimed to be not the Messiah, then he claimed to be Mary, then he claimed to be the Messiah, who is was Mary for three years. This guy, he claimed that he is, uh, 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 Muhammad is the last prophet for, for the Muslims, Isa is the last prophet for the Jews, and then later he claimed to be a prophet and he is the Messiah. He is a Messiah who came out from the grave and he appeared in India. After how many years? Where was Ahmad Mirza Ghulam? <laughs> okay, let us say he was born, I don't know, like in, in the 1800, right? I forgot which year. So, 18 centuries after Jesus, where was this Jesus, claimed Jesus, hiding? And he was born again from a woman. So he did not die. I mean, like he, he, they put him in the grave and then he come from the grave and then he went to India. No problem. But took him 19 centuries or 18 centuries to arrive to India. And then he went inside the women and this woman, she gave birth to him. And then he was Mary and then he became Jesus. I mean, the story is very convincing. Is it? <clears throat> hmm. I see. Well, as long as there's no real Ahmadiyya calling, I'm going to call the person who was an Ahmadiyya, and he, uh, where is this person? The person who said to me, I was an Ahmadiyya, please text me back. I mean, this Skype is really stupid. Uh, where is the guy he texted me? You see, they don't, it's not like, like the new programs that appear in the top again, no. It disappear. And you have to look for it. And I have like tens of thousands of names in my Skype. I need to change this Skype. Here we go, he's going. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hi. Oh, you um, are? Yeah, it's me that texted you. All right. Uh, I thought you are a, 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 like a man, but it turned to be you are a lady. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, in the text you said you used to be Ahmadiyya, correct? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's correct. Okay, what do you want so, to tell us about Ahmadiyya? Go ahead. I will leave the microphone yeah, so for you. So I'll just tell my testimony. All right. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say, um, it says in 1 Timothy 4, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say and the way you live in your life, your faith and your purity. So I, my journey started when I was 18 and people think that I'm too young to know what I'm talking about, but God reveals himself to those that seek him. So I'll start. Um, so it started when I was around 17. I started learning more about um, Ahmadiyya because I was, bo- sorry, I was born into Ahmadiyya. I wanted to know more about it. I wanted to know what I believed. So I started my research and I found some things that I didn't know were the beliefs that um, were widely held. So the website, alislam.org, is what I was using. And for example, one of the things I saw, um, it said that Jesus traveled to India and died a natural death. Um, He didn't die on the cross, an imposter was put there, and that he traveled to preach the lost tribes of um, India. So when I found that out, I knew that went um, against what mainstream Islam says about where Jesus died. So that really drove me to um, start looking deeper. They also said that his tomb was found, can be found in Kashmir. When I found that out, I said that is a bit problematic because if his physical body is on this earth, then that would disprove mainstreamism because it says an imposter was put on the cross and he was risen to heaven. And that would also disprove Christianity where it says he died and rose again. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do my research. During this time, my friend invited me to church, um, so I started going. And then I reached a point where I said, I cannot continue coming to church unless I make a decision, because it's sinful for me to come here as a Muslim. I need to know, I need to know like, what I'm doing, what are my next steps. So my church does an altar call, and during that time, I asked God, I was like, God, if you are there, if what I'm doing is correct, correct, please just give me a sign. I don't care how big, I don't care how small, reveal yourself to me. So I went to, my church does like a hangout thing, so this was back in 2018, and I went and I met a youth leader. The youth leader took me to this youth hangout that they had, and I said, okay, why not, what do I have to lose at this point? I was there and something in me was telling me to bring it up, so I was like to the youth people, oh, I used to, I'm, I'm a Muslim, I'm looking at like Christianity, what should I do? Before I even got the chance to say more about myself, one of the guys that asked me, what type of Muslim are you? I said, oh, you're never going to know. He said, he said I'm going to guess. I said, fine, because not many people know about Ahmadiyya. He said, you're an Ahmadiyya. I said, okay, that means, like, where did you get that from? Because most people would say Sunni or Shia. Mm-hmm. After he said that, I said, he said to me, do I want a book? I was thinking, I've never met this guy, where is he going to get a book from? It was a book by Nabil Qureshi called No God But One, Allah or Jesus. So he gave me that book and literally it was an answer to the prayer that I just prayed. That book had all the answers to what, what, what uh, I was... What the, what the book name again, please? No God But One, Allah or Jesus. Allah or Jesus, okay. All right. So um, I'll paste the link from Amazon as well. So. That book literally answered all my prayers because I just asked God for a sign. I literally invited him into my heart. I said, God, if what I'm doing is correct, please just reveal yourself to me. So I didn't become a Christian there and then. I read the book. I carried on doing my research into Christianity and Islam. I kept on weighing the um, both sides. The book is really good at breaking down at, um, both sides of the story. So, for example, there's a chapter on the worldview of God in Islam and the worldview of God in Christianity. In front of the Holy Spirit, he shares intimacy with us. We are his children and it's focused on love. However, in Islam, God is not um, God is not three parts. He he, we've been created to um, be tested. We live focusing on the law. So different things um, where, where, where the way we we're basically we our good deeds as well being tested if that makes sense so we're basically able to have more good than bad so there's no there's no real relationship so after i found all of that out and i carried on getting to know jesus i decided to give my life to christ and i just since then i've just been trying to get other people to see the truth i've been trying to get other people to see that ahmedia and islam is not the way but christianity is 
I mean to that. So, but uh, uh, our sister here, uh, did you hear before that Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he died because of diarrhea? Yes, I did. But it, like, actually, no. The first time I heard it was today because I didn't know that. But even so, that's not something that um, was major to me. It, it was more about the teachings mm. of Ahmad. But no, actually, so it, should, that, it should be major. Just, it should be major because yeah. you see, when somebody claimed to be the Messiah. The, all of us, we can die in any way. I mean, all of us as a human, we can die anyway, right? So that's not a problem, yeah. really. I mean, people, they die by car accident, by fire, by, 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 by. Uh, but when you claim to be the Messiah, the one who healed people by just touching him, right? Yeah. It is not logical to say that the one who healed everybody, he did not heal himself. Yeah. You know? So because he chose the, the person of the Messiah, then he is in trouble. Otherwise, if he chose to be a Christian prince, okay, well, Christian prince, he might die because of the same, you know, because he, he's not claiming to be someone special, right, with a, with a, with a special uh, ability and miracles, no. So when he chose to be a person who is the Messiah, he exposed who he, he is by his death. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, I also forgot to add. So... When I received the book, yes, to the people in the comments, I was born into a Muslim family. My entire family is Muslim. Um, the reason why that specific thing was so special is because the person that gave me the book, he had it for over a year. And on that day, he randomly decided, oh, I'm going to read it on my way home from church. But God used him in a way that nobody expected. He didn't even expect it. He thought he was just picking up a book to read on his way home. So, yeah, it's literally, I just think everyone should read that book. Even if you're a Christian, read the book, look into Nebuchadnezzar Qureshi, because I feel like many people, when it comes to evangelizing, they don't, they, they try and focus on, like, people that believe in God but are not practicing or, like, atheists. No, not many people focus on other religions. That's why I really like what you do, Christian Prince, because you've done your research into Islam and you're, like, refuting it. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, see here, I noticed that you mentioned the book of our brother, may the Lord bless his soul, uh, Nabil Qureshi. And this is what we're saying, yeah. that you see, you, you, all of us, we will die. The Bible says, let the, let, let the dead bury the dead. But look, yeah. Nabil, he died, but he's alive. Here we go. We are talking yeah. about him. Yeah. And he yeah. was behind saving the, the, our sister here. So even if even he passed away, still he will save people by what he left behind this is why we encourage all of you to do some work because the lord he said from the fruit you shall know them and the fruit of, the, of our brother nabil is speaking to us right now as we as we speak live on air uh, 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 I, I i'm not going to say what's your name in skype i'm going to ask you what about your parents they're still ahmadiyya um yes yeah, so um so when i told so I got to a stage where I was hiding that I was a Christian and my friend spoke to me. At the time, you know in Islam you pray five times a day, there's not really a personal relationship with God like when you pray, you're saying specific words over and over again. So it came to a point where I was learning how to pray as a Christian, it's simply a conversation with God, but people told me to pray the Lord's Prayer. So I was praying the Lord's Prayer and my friend asked me, do you pray the Lord's Prayer? I said yes. He said, do you pray God let your will be done? I said yes. And he said, then you need to tell your family because you can't live a double life. You need to be proud. You need to be always able to defend your faith in Jesus. So I told um, my uh, mum, my mum made it hard, um, a bit hard for me, but it's okay. She's come to terms with it now. And at first my dad disowned me. He said he wants nothing to do with me if that path is the path I'm going down, that he thinks I'm brainwashed, that I have been brainwashed by Nibbul Qureshi and stuff. So yes, my family is still Muslim, but I'm still praying that they see the light one day. Yeah. Well, I, I will be happy to talk to your parents and I will speak to them nicely if you like, even in, in the private, I don't mind. Like if you okay. if you can tell them, do you like to talk to this person? You know, I will speak to them in a very nice way as if they are my parents, I promise you. Yeah. You know, and I will be happy to talk to them because, you know, I don't blame them for being stubborn and not to listen. Uh, mm. because this is how they grow up i mean it's not easy yeah, it's not easy it's to leave true. yeah yeah it's not easy to leave at all especially like when you've grown up and this is all you know so at first i was hurt but now i understand exactly um, my family my family hasn't turned from me we're okay now okay. but they are still they are still not ahmedia 
it's just I feel like it was the initial. Sh- I mean, they are still Ahmadiyya, sorry, they're not Christians yet. Hmm. I feel like it was the initial shock. You know, Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Do, do you know the Do you know the the power of the drop of water? No. Okay, the drop of water. If you, if you have a faucet at your home, let us say in the yeah. backyard, you have a you have a faucet and this faucet is leaking. Yeah. After a few years of not, uh, let us say you have a husband who don't care, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. he will not fix the faucet. After a few years, you will find a hole in the tiles. Yeah, that's but, true. But, but do you see? Do you know how hard the tile is? It's very really hard. It's it's a it's, it's a rock. Still, yeah. a drop of water was able or able to make a hole in it. This is what you mm. can do. You can be the drop of water who can soften a rock. Never give up. Thank you, Array. Yeah, the, you know, I, I have many people who used to, there's a guy who used to open a chat room in Palto for three years for me. He's a doctor from England. Mm-hmm. He, you know, the, the whole chat room is just attacking me about Christian Prince lying. Christian Prince is, is, a, is lying to you. He is, is not saying the truth. Three years, nonstop, every day. And then one day, he came to the chat room and he said everything this guy is saying is absolutely true. I thought he's joking, being sarcastic, because this this guy supposedly is an enemy for me. You know what I mean? Like there's no way. He is the last one. I mean, and then I thought maybe this is a fake person using this, like, you know, you can make a name look like it, you know? So, and then we gave him the microphone. It was him. Three years attacking me, saying Christian Prince is lying. And then he said, I cannot take it no more. Everything he said, I check it out to be, to, to, to be true. I was lying to myself. I cannot take it no more. I am out of this garbage. So uh, people sometimes they they uh, because because the the truth is painful. It's not it's not com- the truth is not comfortable. The truth is it, it hurt. You know. Yeah. It so does hurt, yeah. Be- because it hurt, you you switch to the defense you know mood, and your defense yeah. mood says I don't want to leave it believe it even though it's true. And then by time. Either you live the rest of your life in denial, lying to yourself, or you have to be honest with yourself and you say, you know what, the truth is ugly. I have to accept it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm so grateful to have you, uh, our sister here, and I hope some Ahmadiyya will call us and will prove yeah. us wrong. But I, you know, for me, uh, always I try to present information in a very easy way. This is why I'm focusing today. And this guy dying by the diarrhea because not all Christian, I mean, not everybody knows what what Ahmadiyya teach. You know, Ahmadiyya is not too much like their books. Even many people do not know even what the, what the books of Ahmadiyya. They think it's Quran. The fact Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he have his own Quran. You know, he yeah, do- that's another thing. So many of the things once I started seeking the information for myself, many of the beliefs that they held, I didn't know is what I should have believed. So unless you go looking, you will never find out. And especially like there's a, a language barrier as well. So because the language um, that they use is Urdu for some of their books and stuff, it makes it harder for those that don't speak Urdu. Yeah, Not it... just blindly following. Another example, so they tend to do missionary trips. I feel like that's how my family at least became um, Ahmadi. They did missionary trips across West Africa. And because people are giving, you're giving people clean water, schools, etc., etc., it's like they feel like they should follow this. As, it's as if God has answered their prayers because they've been met in the physical. But it's not just about the physical, it's about the spiritual. If your spiritual is not c- correct, then like it's not good. Yeah. You know, you mentioned something about a uh, relationship with God. Did you, did you watch my previous video I made just uh, t- two days ago? No, I haven't. Well, you should watch it because you will see that in Islam, there is nothing called a, a personal or a spiritual relationship with Allah. For Allah yeah. first is not a spirit. How you can have a, how you can have a spirit with a spir- spiritual relationship with someone himself is not a spirit. <laughs> you know, it's like, a, yeah. like in, in order to connect between two things, let us say to make it simple. Uh, let us make this the spiritual relationship is like electricity, okay? Yeah. And this this energy or this power, uh, in order to connect, uh, it have positive and negative, and you know, and it have to be going through uh, some kind of let us say uh, 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 a, a material which is going to transform, transform or transfer this uh, uh, energy from one to the other. But if the other person, he have no electricity at all, mm. electricity will not go. 
You, you see, uh, because electricity, in order for electricity to run through, uh, uh, through, through, through anything, you have to have electron in that material. Like even in air, there's electron. So in order to, uh, uh, like when we, when the, when the, the energy became so powerful, like what we see in the thunder. So when, when this electron, he, you know, go and when I, when I, when I connect to other electron. Yeah. We need to have two electron. If one of them is electron, the other one will not receive anything. So this, the God of Islam is not a spirit. So how this is spirit who is, I have it, will connect with the someone, he himself is not a spirit, and then we call it spiritual. Yeah. The definition even even, even silly and stupid, because to be spiritual, I have to be a spirit, a spirit, I have a spirit, and he have a spirit too. And then we can have a spiritual connection, you know? Like I can I can say the, the mother, she is connected with her son spiritually, like she feels he is sick somewhere, or she is worried about him, you know? This is a spiritual, uh, uh, let us say, feeling that her son, she's worried about him. She have a feeling that he, he's getting hurt or something wrong happened to him. But he, he is a, he have a spirit, she have a spirit. But a man who have a spirit and a God who have no spirit, how they can connect spiritually? True, that does make sense, yeah. It's impossible. Same time, the God of Islam, you know, he never connected with Muhammad in a spiritual way. He sent him always an angel. You see, if you go in the Quran, the Quran says, the, uh, the Quran used the word wahi. Wahi means inspiration. But all of us, we knew that Muhammad never received inspiration. He received a message. How that is inspiration? Yeah, that's true. Because especially in Islam as well, the um, Quran is seen as the exact word of God, his exact words. But then this is another point I, I came across during my research. So I, I think it was Uthman, he recalled all the Qurans and had them burnt so that they could print a standardized version because um, Arabic was an oral language at the time, it wasn't written down. So when they started writing it down, many different forms were being created. So, but the thing is, there's a hadith that says one of the best reciters said a verse was missing. And that really makes you ask questions about what you believe. Yeah. If verses are missing. If verses are missing, stuff could be added in as well. Exactly. And actually, even the Quran confirms something very funny and stupid. If you remember in the Quran, it says that Allah, he caused Muslims to forget the Quran. And he mm -hmm. caused or abrogate. But if he caused and abrogate, Allah will make better Quran. Okay. Here you see mm -hmm. that the one who made this verse or, you know, this, this statement, either stupid or stupid because why I want to make you forget the verse and that will make something similar or better mm. what is the wisdom in this but Muhammad because he cannot remember yeah but Muhammad when he said that he cannot remember what he said yesterday so we never you know when you read that like chapter 2 verse number 106 any any verses we cause to be forgotten or to be abrogated we will make something similar or better now why in the world does God, he will make me forget a verse he just gave me yesterday, and yeah, now he will make, make something sense. similar. So what, 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 what are you trying to do? And how... It's literally, yeah, because God is not a God of confusion. The Christian God is not a God of confusion. He speaks clearly. No, no, but not only this. You see, here this is about stupidity. Imagine, imagine you have a car. Let us say you have, yeah. a, uh, you have Toyota uh, Camry. 2020. Okay, so yeah. now I'm going to burn your car and give you to, to a Camaro to, to, to a 220. I mean, why, why, why did that? It's, it says similar. So why, yeah. why you burn the car to give me the same car? That's stupid. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Same, same time, this is Allah deleting the word of Allah. What I mean, why, why we're talking about when I talk about the car now, we are talking about the word of God. So, why the word of God is deleted by God to give a similar word of the word of God? But because Muhammad the fool, he cannot remember what he said yesterday, people just start laughing at him. So, we want to cover himself. He says, oh, Okay, whatever Allah he caused me to forget or to forgot, how Allah can cause you to forget Quran? And what is the wisdom behind that? Why Allah want to make his prophet forget Quran? Any Muslim can tell us. That's stupid. And then to make it more stupid, he said, 
I will substitute something better or similar. How Allah will make better Quran than the Quran? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Maybe Allah, he went because, you know, my English is bad. So I will go to a school. I will study English and I will make better, but better Quran than the Quran I made yesterday. <laughs> 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 All right, sister. Thank you very much for calling. We appreciate Thank having you. you. And Thank we hope you. you're welcome. Good to have you. I'm sorry. One second, just before I go, guys, if you are looking or even questioning um, about Jesus, I just ask that you ask God to reveal himself to you. He will do it. I mean to that. That's the point. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> so the fool Muhammad, to cover his stupidity, he said that Allah will cause me to forget Quran, but don't worry, be happy. Allah will make similar Quran. Huh. And then I will make Allah, or maybe He will make better Quran. Huh? That make it even more stupid. So, so what happened to Allah? Allah like was wrong yesterday. He will make better Quran today. Better or similar? And look, Allah have power over all things. So Allah have power over all things. And the, the, so making me forget the Quran. This is prove the power of Allah. Do we have any Ahmadiyya here? <laughs> any Ahmadiyya have something to say? About their prophet who died because of diarrhea and yet he claimed to be the Messiah? All right, we have, I think, somebody. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Are you Ahmadiyya? Nope, I'm not. So what are you? Well, I've been listening to your conversations and the way you talk about Islam. And I just wanted to have us to have, you know, a bit of life debate. No problem. So, 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 you, so, you, so you are a Muslim? You are a Muslim? I'm just exploring the truth anyway. Which is the truth? Islam or Christianity? Yeah, I'm asking you a, a specific question. Are you a Muslim or not? Yes. Okay, so why don't you say to me, okay, yes, I'm a Muslim, and that's it. Okay, so what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Go ahead. I just answered you, yes. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. Yes. What I'm just basically trying to say is uh, the, the Quran, <coughs> from the head to the tail, you keep saying it's full of mistakes, it keeps, it's full of mistakes, but sometimes when you interpret it, interpretation sometimes is funny. Oh, so I said that people, is this really a mistake or you're misinterpreting it? Oh, but I am, I'm not giving my own interpretation. This is your Muslim interpretation. Yeah, but the Muslim interpretation of the 7th to 8th century so? can be wrong. How, how, the one, be wrong. how the one who was more close to your prophet time is wrong and you are the one who never met him, never saw him is right. Well, religion is dynamic. Okay, dynamic. Okay, forget about the interpretation. I want you to see your interpretation. What do you think? Okay. All right. I want. Okay. I want to. Okay. I want to. I want to ask you. Can you? I'm, yes. I'm not going to ask you anything. I'm not going to challenge your knowledge. I want to learn from your knowledge. So, can you tell okay. me what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet and Allah is God? Go ahead. Well, in the proof that Muhammad is a prophet. Hmm. In the days of old, as in the days of Muhammad, mm -hmm. people upheld him and people believed that he was a prophet. Come on, there are about almost 2 billion Muslims. Can 2 billion people be stupid? You just told me that the, the Muslim who was in the 17th, 17th century, they were stupid. That you are smart because you learn Islam from the stupid ones. You are a Muslim today because of those people who they are living in the 7th century. And you just accuse them to be stupid for giving false interpretation for the Quran. So you learn from the false, you learn from the stupid Muslims. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going with your logic, my friend. I'm going with your logic. You learned from the one you called them stupid, Islam, and now we are 2 billion. By the way, how they became 2 billion? Yesterday they were a billion. You Muslims are like rabbit. You give babies every five, every one week or one billion more. So, number doesn't make any difference because we are way more than you. We are more than three billion. Number two, how many Muslims of the Muslims are Muslims? Give them freedom and then we will see. We will find no Muslims. Freedom, 
Friedman, okay, let me ask you. Do you, do you, yes. you, do you as a Muslim practice Islam? Islam is total submission. Yes, I submit to God. No, Islam, where, where in the Quran says Islam is submission? Where you got this information from? <clears throat> the meaning of Islam is submission. No, who said that to you? Give me the name of the donkey. <laughs> every sheikh, every ustad I know. No. Every ustaz you know, every ustaz, every ustaz you know. Is, okay, the only way, the, the only way, my friend, my friend, the only way to say the word submission if you are a person who don't speak Arabic, even if you are a Christian, which means you got it wrong, or you are an ignorant Muslim. There is nowhere in the Quran mention the word uh, submission. Islam means surrender. No, 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 my friend. Surrender yeah. is you yeah. surrender in the time of war. Submission is you do something willingly. But we say in total submission to the will of God. No, I'm asking you now. Do you do it willingly or unwillingly? Do you do, do you do it willingly? Do you do the Quran says you you should submit willingly? I'm using the word you use submit right willingly to Allah or unwillingly? Which one? <laughs> Okay, I want you to read for me. You see, I don't want you now to read the interpretation of the previous uh, scholars because you don't like them, even though they support me. But no problem. I will go with your interpretation. So, okay. what about, uh, you read for me chapter 90, 49, verse number 14. Okay, I'm not with the Quran now, but I trust that you read the right thing. Okay, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to put it for you. No, 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 it's wrong. No, my friend, my friend, my friend. I concede the point to you. My friend, no. I want you to read for me. Chapter 49. And I'm not, I'm not on YouTube. I'm talking to you directly from Skype. No problem. You can open in your internet right now, Quran, chapter 49, verse number 14. It's very easy. You have internet. <laughs> I talk to you. Read for me. Please. No, I want you to read. I insist, my friend. CP, you Arabs, just like you said, you Arabs are rude, hmm. you Arabs are, you Arabs don't, you Arabs don't bend. So why you are mis why, why wasting my time? You know that we are rude, so let me be rude with you. I want you to read. Yes, there's no problem. Okay. Okay, can I go, you said uh, Quran chapter what? Hmm. Chapter 49, verse number 14. Okay. Chapter... Quran chapter 49. You have to forgive me, the internet is slow over here. No here. problem. Say the word insha'Allah and the Quran, the internet will be so fast. Huh? Say the word insha'Allah and the internet will be so fast. Like Al Burak. Yeah, right. Hmm. Yeah, right. Hmm. Tell me. Come on, when you get it, this is going to work. So, what, the internet is not working now? Whoever still believes in that. Okay, did you open the verse? Did you open the verse or not? Quran chapter 49. Verse 14. <laughs> verse 14. Chapter 49. Hmm. Verse. Hmm. 14. 14. Yeah. Okay. Verse 14. Okay. Hmm. What the brethren in faith have believed. Hmm. Say you have not yet believed, but say instead we have submitted. Hmm. For faith has not yet entered your heart. Okay. And if you obey Allah, his messenger, he will not deprive you from your deeds of anything. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. Okay. So what we learn from this, uh, as long as you don't believe in the interpretation of the Arab before the 7th century, I want you to give me the interpretation for this crazy verse. Hmm. You have not yet believed, but instead we have submitted. Hmm. Ah, submission, you can believe, but you've not yet submitted. It's very possible. 
<laughs> so so what the Quran saying what the Quran saying you agree the Quran saying the word by the way here sur surrender or submitted is the, replacing the word Islam we are Muslims so listen to this the Quran saying the Arab they say we are believers Quran say no you do not you are not a believer you are you say you you, you can say you are a Muslim but you are not a believer so how they are a Muslim but they don't believe because Muhammad he forced them the Muslim, one can be a Muslim but not a practicing Muslim. No, 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 no. This is not about practice. Don't, 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 don't go there. Don't go there. Muhammad, he sent them a threat. He said, either you convert or I will kill you. Then they convert. And now he is saying, okay, we believe. Muhammad saying to them, you don't believe. We know that it's a lie. You became a Muslim. So became a Muslim in Islam have nothing to do with believing. Okay. That's your point. Can I make my point? Make your point. Go on. Okay, thank you. Now, the verse said, hmm. they believe. You can come openly and say, I believe in so, so, and so. But in the reality, you don't submit to your belief. Hmm. So you believe or not? It's just, Do you believe or not? So those, those better ones. I can say I believe, but in reality... This is not a question. This is not a question. Those, those better ones. Those better ones. Do they believe or not? They believe. But the Quran say no. The better ones say they will believe. You, you, it, Allah is saying you believe not. What's wrong with you? Do you know how to read? It says the Quran, the Quran in front of you saying you believe not. The Quran says you believe not. Are you saying Allah is a stupid here? See, I want to give you an example. Don't give me an example. The Quran says you believe not. Do you agree with the Quran saying you believe not or you don't agree? I agree. But a second ago you said you didn't agree. You said you said you believe. <laughs> You change your mind in two seconds, my friend, just because the Quran says so? Listen, listen. What listen? A second ago, you just said to me, no, they believe, but they are not practicing. And now, I, because I showed you the verse clearly, it says, you believe not. I asked you, which one you believe? What the Quran saying or what you are saying? You said the Quran. Okay, so now you change your mind in two seconds. I mean, good for the woman who will marry you. She can change your mind from 180 degree to 180 degree in two seconds. CP, can I say something? You are saying something, what you are saying to me, proving to me that Islam is a fraud. The man, he forced them to convert to Islam and they believe not. But yes, saying to them, you, you can say we are Muslim, but you cannot say we are believers. So what kind of garbage this garbage is? You force people to say we are Muslims, but they don't believe? CP, CP, one can believe without submitting, very possible. <laughs> my friend those people don't believe what's wrong with you why you are jumping you are like a vacuum machine lost the tube you know the tube there's, a, there's an engine and there's the mouth of the of, of the machine and there's and there's the tube between them you you are the one who lost the tube there is no tube between them so they believe not how they can call themselves muslim how somebody who believe not allah is saying to him say we are muslim but don't say we believe To the best of my knowledge, hmm. to the best of my knowledge, I know one can believe but not. Which believe. knowledge you are talking about? What does that knowledge mean? You know, like you have a high school. What does that mean? I mean, when you say the best of my knowledge, I'm showing you Quran, my friend. I'm showing you Quran. I'm showing you Quran. What the best of your knowledge? Are you Prophet Muhammad now? Because this is Quran. Huh? We have not yet, but instead say we have submitted. So Quran, <laughs> yes, letting us know that there's a difference between belief and submission. <laughs> but sub, but the word submission it's something you do from your heart to one you believe in you trust but the, so that's mean they don't believe in Allah okay listen listen do those people believe in Allah do those people believe in Allah yes they believe but they are not submitted hold on why are you are lying again here we go it says you believe not read the verse yes you have not yet we have believed. You better we say we have believed. Are you are you deaf? Are you deaf? The verse the verse says the verse says you believe not. Yeah. You believe not in what? No. Before you say before you he says say you have. Take care. I have no time for kids. Who's next? <clears throat> Uh, 
have you ever heard of a stupid garbage cult like this? You cannot say I believe, you can say I'm a Muslim. Islam is a fraud. According to my knowledge, what? who, who are you? According to my knowledge, like when I, when somebody says according to my knowledge, you think like the, and this is Muhammad is calling me, and Muhammad now, the prophet of Islam, he have the knowledge. Do we have any Muhammadan? He is an Ahmadiyya, specifically Ahmadiyya, please. He's calling me back. What do you want? I mean, my friend, don't, don't waste my time. What do you want? What do you want? Hello. You are wasting my time. Yes, because the Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says, the Quran says, no, Allah telling them what to say. Allah, Allah, Allah saying to them, they say we believe. They say we believe. Allah saying to them, Allah saying to them, say, say we believe not, but we are Muslims. Allah telling them what to say. So Allah saying to them, say we we are not believers, but we are Muslim. He is telling them to say we are Muslims. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm trying to say. That which is higher, belief or submission? Which is higher? Abdul, how you can submit without believing? <laughs> and how you can how you can be su submitting without belief? So you submit yourself to, to anything? Like if you go in the street and somebody says, submit yourself to me, you submit? Or you believe in what we submit? People believe without submission. Okay, okay, take care, take care. I don't know what people in Nigeria were, were eating, I mean in your area, but obviously you need to change your diet. People believe with our submission, submission without belief. Anybody understand anything? I get, I get dizzy, I have a cross eyes now. <laughs> Do we have any Ahmadiyya here? No need to believe. I mean, what kind of religion is religion? You do not need to believe to be a Muslim, brother. Just surrender, say shahada. That's it, brother. Very beautiful religion. You do not need to understand. You do not need to know anything. Just uh, say, you know, just say we are Muslims. Who cares if you believe or not? For this is a fraud. Muhammad, he sent him a threat, saying to them, either you convert or I will kill you. Literally. And this is in the Quran. This is all in the Quran. <clears throat> Hello? 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 If you are not a Muslim, don't call me, please. In chapter 48, verse number 16, Muhammad saying to the Arab, the Bedouin, be careful, if you don't surrender to me, I will kill you all. And then they convert to save their life. And then they start saying, we are believers. Muhammad said to them, Allah said to me, don't say we are believers, you are a fraud like me. You don't believe, say we are Muslims. <clears throat> Why the mother of Muhammad she gave her son to midwife and I think you mean a nursing woman? Uh, I believe that all those stories are kind of fabrication have nothing to do with the I believe Muhammad was not the son of that family. He is not the son of the family they claim. This is why his family he's like an adopted son. Uh, they rejected him and they tried to dump him in the desert. And he was suffering from a very bad illness. Uh, you know, uh, had, this illness has many names in English. Like when somebody have a, uh, like suddenly an attack in his nerve system, he fell down in the ground, he faint or he shake or he go, you know, like, a, so he had the exact same thing since he was a kid. And this is what Islamic books all confirming that. Even when the angel, claim angel, uh, uh, he came to Muhammad, you will see that Muhammad, he went to his wife and he had the same symptoms of such a illness. Epilepsy.
And at that time, a person have epilepsy, they, they believe he have a black magic on him. And actually, this is what, if you notice in the Hadith, you will find that the Muslims agree that their prophet was bewitched by black magic. <clears throat> Actually, everything Muhammad he said, proving to us that Muhammad is a, is a mentally ill person, the same as uh, this guy, uh, uh, Khalifa, sorry, uh, 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 Ghulam. Look at this guy. I mean, this is a prophet of God. Prophet of God <coughs> teaching Muslims when they have to stop praying. Don't leave the prayer until you see the fault, until you hear the fault and you smell it. I mean, this is the prophet of God. Yeah, 29 this uh, dislike from the Ahmadiyya, yet not even one of them will call us. And don't forget to download the video because I'm sure the Ahmadiyya they will try to take it down. <clears throat> and by the way, Ahmadiyya they share many things with the Muslim Sunni. As an example, they believe that Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he have legs. Sorry, uh, Allah have legs. He sit in the chair. He have hands. But uh, you know they are saying his hands are not like our our, our hands, but the same as the Muslim Sunni. <clears throat> Hmm. Any Ahmadiyya? Anyone? Hmm. I'm really disappointed. I thought Ahmadiyya they would be calling, defending their cult, and they will say to us something we don't know. Anyone? <clears throat> Nobody. Nobody. Total silence. Well, silence is a good sign. I mean, it looks like they agree, you know. They cannot find it. I mean, they cannot fight it. So we agree. We have to agree. <clears throat> Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, the one who claimed to be the Messiah, he died because of severe diarrhea. Actually, I believe Muhammad himself, he died because of severe diarrhea too. If you remember the hadith where it says, that Muhammad, he died because of the poison he ate in Khaybar. You will notice that Muhammad is suffering badly and there is many reference of him suffering an, in, like internal pain in his body. And most likely it is in his stomach and whatever connected I mean the organ inside his his uh, his his, uh, his body uh, but food usually food go through certain area 
and will land in the stomach for sure. There's no other place for the, for the food to land as a start. So when you eat a poison, the first place the poison go through is your stomach and then your stomach will observe that poison. And then you will find that Muhammad is saying that the food, uh, 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 Aisha is saying here, in the element of his death, Muhammad saying, he used to say, and you notice here it says he used to say, not once, not twice, which means Muhammad was suffering badly from a severe pain. And obviously this kind of pain will accompany with diarrhea. Especially it is in the stomach. Uh, his his uh, his uh, his stomach is damaged, his body is damaged, and Muhammad is suffering. Uh, we have uh, Ahmadiyya person, I think. You look like Ahmadiyya for me. Let us see. <coughs> hmm. He just texts me. It says unavailable. Let us ask him, are you Ahmadiyya? Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend. Are you an Ahmadiyya person? Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Are you an Ahmadiyya? You are, we are live on air. No, no, I'm Sadiq Seymour. Okay, so what are you? Are you a Muslim or what? No, I'm a Christian. So why are you calling me, my friend? We said Ahmadiyya call me only. <laughs> I'm a Christian, just asking you how are you. All right, thank you very much. I'm very fine. Thank you. Please don't call me unless you. I, I got excited. I thought, okay, we got a, we got a, we got Ahmadiyya now. We got a fish. It turned to be not a fish. Oh boy. Any Ahmadiyya wanna call us? Any a true believer in the Ahmadiyya belief is willing to call us. If there is something wrong in your belief, you don't want us to, de to talk about. And by the way, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, not only he claimed that he is the Messiah, he claimed to be Krishna. <coughs> He said, there's a book, it's called uh, the book of al qaidaniyyah the Holy, uh, the Memory or Tazkara. And he said in page number 459, I am a Krishna. I am Krishna, the one who the Aryun are waiting for to appear these days. So is he the Messiah or is he Krishna? What else he is? He's Mary for three years. He is the Messiah and he is a Krishna. Anyone? Nobody? It's very disappointing to know that Krishna, he died because of diarrhea, according to Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. He is Zeus, maybe he's Venus. Maybe he's Trump, you never know. He might come back as a Trump. <laughs> Things can happen these days, everything is possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like to hear more. And by the way, this is not my major channel. This is one of my backup channel. The best way always to find where I'm going to be live is in patreon.com slash Christian Prince or of my page in Facebook or in minds.com or in Instagram. <clears throat> just to let you know. This is just one a small channel I have, this is why it have only 26,000.
غني محمدا uh, I mean any Ahmadiyya today we want to give our time to the Ahmadiyya so they can you know explain to us why they believe in this man to be the Messiah I mean this guy he could not heal himself he could not heal his family he could not heal anything he's the same as Muhammad the Muslim they say Muhammad he have kids I believe he have no kids but they say he have kids but his kids die one after one according to them and yet Muhammad could not bring any of them back to life when the Arab they keep saying to him why you don't have a miracle he said, well, if Allah wants to give a miracle, he can, but you will not believe anyway. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse 118. Tons of verses, by the way, all over the Quran. The poor Arab, they keep saying to Muhammad, okay, listen, Abdul, you are a prophet of Allah, as you claim. Can you give us a sign? Just give us a sign. We will believe in you, no problem. What Muhammad said to them? There are heart alike. We have made the signs clear for people who are certain. People who are certain, you make sign for them? But those are certain, they believe you already, do not need a sign. The one who need the sign is the one who need it. <laughs> And then he said after that, the Jews and the Christians will not approve you unless you follow their greed. This is the most stupid comment ever, statement, because the Jews don't agree, don't allow people to join them unless they are children of the Jews. You don't convert to Judaism. If you find the Jews are doing that today, because Judaism, I mean, most of them became a Christian and they found themselves, they are disappearing. So they are accepting people to become Jew. Like you will find some rabbis going to Philippines, as an example, trying to make some Christians convert to Judaism, trying to fool those poor Filipinos. But when you say that Christians and the Jews will not approve you unless you follow their belief, that is a stupid statement because the Muslim, they claim that Musa was a Jew. And what the Jews are doing is not what God he said. If you remember, the that, and then many after him, like Mimi and Fifi and Siuso, they said, not a single Jew, not a single Jew believe in the Trinity. Guys, do you remember? As an example, Mimi, when he was debating uh, David Wood, not a single Jew believe in the Trinity. Well, is it this is your Quran, you idiot, saying the Jews worship a son of God, his name is Uzair? <laughs> <laughs> so he accused this idiot that his God is a liar and Jews don't believe in the Son of God. He said that the Quran say no, they, be, they do. <clears throat> not a single Jew, brothers and sisters, not a single Jew from the time of Christ until now you will find him believe in accept anything except the oneness of God okay but the Quran says something different so the Quran is a lie <clears throat> any Abdul we have tons of things to speak about this cult the Ahmadiyya but it, it is it is very stupid cult it's very funny it's very dummy but they can still can fool you because they are very well trained in attacking Christianity very well trained and in order to prove something for you they don't use their books because they don't want you to read their books <clears throat> any Mohammedan and guys imagine imagine the the Mirza Ghulam he said in his book he said, Allah, he sent to this nation the promised Messiah who is better from the first Messiah. <laughs> I thought you are the first Messiah who came back to India. <laughs> How this guy, he claimed to be the Messiah. And then he says, 
that Allah, he sent him as a promised Messiah better from the previous Messiah. But aren't you the one who claimed to be the previous Messiah himself who just came from Jerusalem to India? Are you a new Messiah? I mean, what kind of drugs this guy is taking? This is in his book, it's called Tazkara, page number 382. Any Abdul? Uh, actually, any Ahmadiyya? <clears throat> no one? The friend of uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, in his book, uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, in his book, he said, Once my friend, he advised me to take hashish. <laughs> which is good for diabetes. The guy, he had diabetes too. In the top of all the diseases he have, he have diabetes, and he's the Messiah. And he said, and there is no harm in taking cocaine for the purpose of medication. I said to him, thank you very much for your dear advice. But if you are used to take cocaine, I am afraid that people, they will not accept the first Messiah he was taking <laughs> wine and the second messiah is taking cocaine. <laughs> oh, hold on. He's telling his friend, but it's not right. Because now the first messiah, he was taking wine, and the second messiah is taking cocaine and heroin. <laughs> and that's a good point, brother. That's a good point. Oh, boy. Okay. But he, but now he admit that he have diabetes. Hmm. And yet his God is not... And he is the messiah. All right. <coughs> and then later, Mirza Ghulam, he made a medicine called... Uh, made from cocaine, it's called uh, uh, the vaccine of God or God the vaccine. Mm. <sighs> Any Ahmadiyya? No Ahmadiyya? Nobody? Hmm. I'm looking at Skype. Skype is dead. There's nobody. Not even one single Muhammadan Ahmadiyya. Um, let us see here. There's a person, his name is Adham, and he is a Christian. He started getting Ahmad Mirza Ghulam busted. And imagine Allah, he sent Ahmad Mirza Ghulam Quran to refute Adham. <laughs> and then when Adham, he died, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he said, Praise be to Allah. I never been be happy as today after this Adham he died. <laughs> I mean, obviously you are the Messiah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> uh, I mean, the stories, the stories of this guy is really beyond stupidity. Um, look what he said about the coming of the Messiah. But yet he claimed to be the Messiah, believe it or not. I mean, he says, all the nation agree that uh, 
according to the authentic hadith, that Isa, he is in the sky and he is alive. And he is going to come down at the end of the time and he will kill the pig and he will break that cross and he will kill the false messiah and he will be the just. And then, <clears throat> if this is true, so who are you? You see guys the stupidity? If you are saying that the Messiah, he, if you accept that the Messiah, he will come in the judgment day. So how he come now? Or let us say a hundred years ago. He was accepting what Muhammad, he said <clears throat> in this hadith. Let us find it. See this hadith? So Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he agree with it. Okay, if you agree with it that the Messiah will descend against you in the judgment day, and he will be judged for the mankind, how come you did not become the judge, and how come the end of the time did not come? Because according to this hadith, the coming of the Messiah second time is going to be the last one. There is no more coming. And this will happen only in the judgment day. So you came in the wrong time. Too much early. <laughs> and by the way, here, there is there is something stupid Muhammad he said. Anyone notice that? I will put the, I will put the hate in the screen. One of you tell me, where is the mistake Muhammad he said proving that he is a false prophet? Anyone notice here? In this uh, in this uh, statement of Muhammad, where Muhammad he got himself busted. Anyone? Let us see who of you will help me. Where in this story Muhammad he got himself busted? <clears throat> I know that the video take time for you to arrive. Anyone? Where Muhammad here, he got himself busted in this prophecy. This is a prophecy about the Messiah when he will come. Anyone notice something wrong in what Muhammad said? Shortly. The fact is not only shortly. It says, Liyushikna. Liyushikna in Arabic means it's almost he's here. It's not only shortly. It's like he's coming now. So the liar, he said 1400 years ago, that the Messiah almost down. Descend between you people, you people. He's talking to people who they are alive between him, in front of him. Do you see it? And yeah, the Messiah will come. <clears throat> well, here it's very hard to, to explain to you without sound effect and like some background. I don't know if I can use that. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> We have some to use some education tools, you know, but I'm not sure. Whistle. Let us see. No, not this one. I'm looking for, you know, the, the whistle of the cowboy? You know, the, the cowboy whistle? So what Muhammad saying that the Messiah, he will come in the judgment day. And the Messiah, he's going to face, face the enemy. It's hard to explain to you without, uh, let us do this.
brothers and sisters the son of mary very soon he will be here he will break the cross and he will kill the pig come on pray if you have a problem with pigs and you want to kill them call us right now we have the right rifle for you you can shoot the pig with pimp a uh, pent pent a uh, gun and he will die immediately even if he's a big 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 back to the topic he will kill the pig he will stand in front of the pig and he will say to him you pig and the pig he will say to him oh messiah what you did why you are shooting me i'm not even the pig i am his cousin <laughs> the messiah is coming from behind the seven galaxies to shoot a pig oh no no short shoot the messiah will use a sword you know the old days style like <laughs> so the pig he will have a sword the messiah will have a sword like <laughs> and we, like do you think the pig will able to cut the, like, like at least cut the, the sleeves of, of of the messiah when he's fighting <laughs> story I mean this is the Messiah for you he's coming Allah is sending him to kill the pig why I mean who is this pig it's a pig I mean how silly how stupid that he will come to kill the pig and he will break the cross so all the electric column we see in the street he will break them too because all of them they are cross in every street in the Islamic country you have a cross in the front of your house Big, a huge cross. Without it, you don't have electricity. Don't you? Are you going to break it all too? And what this problem with the pig, Mr. Pig? He will kill the pig? So Mirza Ghulam, he agreed with this, but Mirza Ghulam did not come in the judgment day. And here Muhammad, he says shortly, but Mirza Ghulam, he come, you know, 1400 years after, <laughs> oh boy <clears throat> you know stupidity is really amazing I don't know what to say about this Ahmad Mirza Ghulam I am disappointed I thought we would get some uh, Ahmadiyya who they are willing to call us so we can laugh more because it's going to be more funny if you hear it from them but I believe strongly they avoid talking to me because they knew that is going to be, they will not be able to fix it, but in, instead they will make it horrible if they call. Otherwise, we have 28 dislike from Ahmadiyya people. How come none of them is calling? You know what I mean? They will not call because the more they call, the more we will show reference and we will get them busted from their books. Why you don't call me to examine my knowledge about your cult? Or to correct me, baby? Or to explain to me how your Messiah, he died because of diarrhea? By the way, what happened to his diarrhea? I hope you did not throw it away. And sometimes I find it amazing or I'm using maybe I'm using better when they try to refute us and they make such a claim he, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam he did not die because of cholera he died because of complication arising from severe diarrhea and this is your official website getting us busted your claimed messiah died because Complication arising from severe diarrhea. Who is saying that? You, Ahmadiyya, you saying that. And look what they continue saying. No doubt, no doubt by suffering from diarrhea would have led to his weakness and his eventual death. Uh.
the weakness of your Messiah was because of diarrhea. So where is Allah? I mean, nobody killed him. This guy, literally, he died because of his... Uh, <clears throat> So I'm really convinced how they refute us. Who in the world want to believe in someone he claimed to be the Messiah, he died because of diarrhea? Just be honest with yourself. I mean, how silly that statement is. When a bunch of Christians, they come to his door and they brought him someone who is blind, someone who cannot walk, someone who cannot uh, 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 talk, and they said to him, okay, all those disabled people, you know, if you are the Messiah, do what the Messiah do. He closed the door, he get in. He hide. And then later we find that the person, he had diabetes. This is, this is their books, by the way. Their books saying that Ahmadiyya, uh, Ahmad Mirza Ulam himself, his friend advised him to take hashish and cocaine for his diabetes. And later Ahmad Mirza Ulam, he made cocaine, or let us say drugs, as a... a, a a vaccine, he called it the vaccine of God. The vaccine of God. For sure the cocaine will make you have, uh, this is a vaccine of God, you will be very high. You will, you will be high to God himself. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Again, how many of you want this website? How many, by the way, it took me time to find this website, honestly. Like after I, I, I decided, to, because I received an email from one of you, and uh, uh, he told me uh, I saw somebody from in, in Puerto Rico and they opened Islamic Center for Ahmadiyya, and they are trying to, to deceive Christians in Puerto Rico. And that's why I, I decided to talk about this topic. This is the website, please don't forget to save it, because it's going to take you forever to find something approved this is their official website they can't deny it this is their website i'm not using a website uh from people who they are against ahmadiyya no you see if you go to the main page let us go to the main page hold give me a second menu where is the home home Okay, this is this is their main page. If you click in the same in the same website I gave you, <clears throat> this is the news now. This is their caliphate, by the way, the guy who he wearing this hat. The head of Ahmadiyya Muslim community urged Ahmadiyya Muslim Ahmadi Murzi uh, girls, women to stand to defend in defend Islam of Islam. <laughs> That's a good one. Head of Ahmadiyya Muslim community urged Muslims, youth, living in the West to keep hold for their religious value. What is your religious value exactly? Actually, I challenged the Muslim Ahmadiyya to tell me what is your value? And where we can find the books of your value? What is that? In the Quran of Ahmad Mirza Ghulam? Who is a Muslim would like to call me and show me the value of Ahmadiyya from his book, the books of Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, the Quran which Allah gave him? Is that the one who insulted the Christians? Called them filthy? Called the Jewish filthy? Is that the one who insulted Jesus? Saying that he can do nothing like what I do? Which is your value? Hmm? <clears throat> Any Abdul? And by the way, he don't only claim that he is the Messiah, he claimed to be his Isa and the Messiah in the same time. And he is the last prophet.
in one of his book he said you should know that the promised Messiah in the book of Allah he is not Isa the son of Mary the one who came with the gospel and the servant of the law of Moses as many they thought of the ignorant from those who they are stupid and crock and sinner but it is the last of the messengers for this nation which is Mirza Ghulam and this is in the book it's called Khutbah il Hamiya, page number 309 so if this guy claimed to be the Messiah how he is not the Messiah I mean guys anyone understand this guy he claimed to be the Messiah and now he is saying that the Messiah the promised Messiah is not the Messiah the son of Mary <laughs> but he claimed that he was Mary too and he is the Messiah who did not die in Jerusalem what kind of a drugs this man is taking What do you think? <clears throat> Any uh, Ahmadiyya? All right, look like we, we, we are not lucky today with the Ahmadiyya. Uh, we will be back live on air again tomorrow in the morning, same time. Uh, but I might go back again afternoon today, I, if I have time. Okay, and if you have a question for me about certain topic, if nobody did, I mean, we did not speak about it before, uh, in the comment section, try to leave your comment and tell me if there's a topic you think is good to talk about, I will be happy to do it, if it is something we did not speak about yet. Any Ahmadiyya would like to call us? Last call, Mayday, Mayday. Anyone? And by the way, if you are speaking a person who speaks Serbian, Polish, Russian, Indonesian, Malay, what else? Anything else? Albanian. We posted those books all for free. All right. <clears throat> uh, you can find the links in Patreon and the admins here can help you if you are looking for them. Uh, and now we have people working translating my books to Romanian some working in the Chinese some there are I mean all languages God, God is amazing and for sure we have an Amazon we have in Dutch we have in Spanish 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 <laughs> Spanish <laughs> that's Muhammad speaking with me brother <laughs> Quran so Spanish not a Spanish a Spanish Dutch German English French uh, I mean, God is good. Our books is all over. In many, many, many languages. And I cannot wait until, honestly, until my book is published in Chinese. That would be amazing. More than a billion, what billion? More, way more. Chinese-speaking people, they will get my book. I cannot wait for that day. <clears throat> so, uh, we know we don't have an Italian. Well, you can volunteer and translate it to Italian if you want. Contact me. Contact me in, in Patreon if you like, to, if you can translate to Italian. Uh, yeah. Actually, the reason no Muslim can debate me because I eat Spanish every day, brother. Papai. Papai is my, you know, my uncle Papai, he told me to eat Spanish. By the way, do you know one of the advice of Muhammad that garlic is against Allah? Which makes sense, brother. Muhammad, he forbid anyone who eat garlic to enter the mosque. And remember, the Muslim, they pray five times a day. That's mean you will never be able to enter the mosque if you eat garlic. Now, why the garlic is an enemy for Allah? Because garlic, they offend the angels. Garlic, not only garlic. Let us see. All those, anyone here like to eat leeks? Who eat leek? The Messenger of Allah said, whoever eats this plant, 
The first he said garlic, and then he said garlic on, uh, onion and leeks. Let him not to approach us in our masjid, which means more. For the angels are offended by which offend mankind. I mean, have you ever heard of angels of God? They got offended by garlic. And they are offended by leeks and onion. Jibril, can you talk to me? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come on, Jibri, talk to me. Mm -mm. Come on. What happened, Jibri? Why you don't want to talk to me? We are always friends. Do you remember when I took you to Disneyland? Mm -hmm. So, why you don't want to talk to me? Mm -hmm. Jibri, say something. Come on. Okay, Jibri, if you cannot talk, can you write something? Mm -hmm. Okay, write for me because I want to know why you are angry from me. Why you don't want to talk to me? Okay, this is a pen and this is a paper. What? You are upset because I ate only yesterday? Are you serious, Jibril? Mm hmm So you want to talk to me now because I ate only yesterday? Mm hmm Okay, but what about the day before? Oh, he's writing something. I ate garlic. So you're upset because I ate garlic too? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> So onion and garlic make you get offended and you will not talk to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, why last week, not this week, the week before, you stopped talking to me for almost two weeks? Write something. Hello? 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 Okay, you have a bad voice. Bad connection. <clears throat> so, Jibril, he just wrote for me that he is upset because I ate leeks. May Allah leak you. What kind of religion, the angels of it, they get offended by leeks and onion and garlic, and those are very useful plants. Anyone can tell me? Oh. I think... I know, I'm receiving a call, but I'm not sure from whom. I don't know, should I answer? The, the number is dangerous. It says Malaysia. Okay, let me answer. Christian Prince, I'm going to get you busted. Is that a nag? I thought you by now you are asleep. First of all, when you talk, I don't sleep. And I'm going to tell everybody that you are a liar. How am I I'm a liar? First of all, you are talking about garlic. And the proven scientifically that garlic is not healthy. Garlic is not healthy since when? First of all, you're not a doctor. Uh, yeah, I know you are a doctor. You are an idiot doctor. Christopher Prent, if you insult me, I will insult you. Okay, I will not going to insult you. Sorry for saying the word idiot, because the idiot will sue me for saying calling you idiot. Christopher Prent, it's a proven theoretically that again God to eat garlic. Okay, what God have to do with garlic? Explain it to us. Okay, let us say you have a beautiful woman next to you. Thank God, I don't have any beautiful woman next to me, otherwise I will not be here live on air. I will be making babies, uh, Zach and I. Christopher Prince, you are very rude and you are very dirty. Uh, okay, you, you got a point there, Zach and I. So, if you have a woman, see it a beautiful next to you. Are you going to eat garlic? Uh, <clears throat> no. Exactly. I got you busted. So, you don't eat garlic next to Allah. But Allah is God. And, I mean, He is the one who made garlic. So, so, why Allah He made garlic? Allah made garlic so people who they are bad people like you, they will eat it. And then nobody can go to them. And that's why you are alone. And you don't have a woman, she's beautiful next to you. Are you saying to me, Zach and Mike, you have a beautiful woman next to you? Exactly. Can we see? You are very rude. And you are not respectable. You don't know what? Not respectable. Okay, so you are saying I don't have a beautiful woman next to me because I don't, I'm eating garlic? Exactly. So I'll let advice to the woman. Okay, what about leeks? Uh, 
Zakir? Uh, uh, <clears throat> what? Why, if we eat leeks, that will offend Allah? Okay, first of all, if you eat leek, you are going to do farting. Really? You fart if you eat leek? Exactly. So you go to the mosque, you bend over, and that will squeeze your stomach, and then boom. Boom to where? To the bad person behind you. So leek is very offending. But the hadith says it's offend the angels. Exactly. Because the angel, he will be next to you. But you said, I'm going to do boom behind me, not next to me. Exactly. There's an angel next to the guy who is behind you, so the angel is behind you too. So, like you are saying that the angels of Allah, they are not, they are like, they don't have any weapon, anti leaks, farting. <laughs> Christian Prince, you are very rude. Okay, what about onion? What onion will do to Allah? I mean, how in the world Allah is offended because of onion? First of all, the hadith did not say Allah offended by onion. It says the angel. Okay, but the angels are like angels. I mean, and this is just an onion. Angel of Allah, they are offended by many things. By pig, by dogs, by black dog, by onion, and by leeks, and by garlic. And there is a hadith we discovered lately. It's called by Christian Prince. Okay, well, it makes sense. I mean, this God, he have a, a lot of phobia. So Allah, he have a phobia from garlic, phobia from onion, and phobia from leeks. Did you ever ever heard about weak leek, uh, can I? I know about weak leek. And actually now, you got me an idea. I think Allah, he forbid us from eating leek, so we will not leak email like Fifi. He leaked the email of Yasser Kadi. Uh, but this is not the same leaking. That Fifi, he leaked the email of Yasser Kadi about... <clears throat> The Quran have holes in the narratives, uh, but this is this is a plan. This is not leaking email. Christian Prince, your English is funny, and your Arabic is funny, and your Urdu is more funny. And now you don't understand the difference between leaks. Leak is leak. Your roof is leaking. The plant is leaking, and everything is leaking. Uh, by the way, I heard that your passenger of Allah he used to leak too. This is true, but this was very thoughtful. Every day, because they put the black magic on him, and he was leaking, and he used to wear a diaper. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, Zach and I thank you for calling me. I appreciate your call. Christian Prince, I'm not going to hang up. Uh -huh. So, what, what, what do you want to say else? I'm going to get you busted. How you want to get me busted? It says in the hadith that you cannot enter the method if you eat those plant. But they didn't say you cannot eat at home. Uh -huh. But if you eat them at home, for sure. I mean, I mean, nobody, nobody will eat garlic and the mosque right they will eat at home you get the point there but i have to tell you that you can eat garlic at home but the angels are accompanying you at home too right exactly so garlic is offending the angels exactly that's mean it doesn't matter if it's at the mosque or at home you cannot eat garlic forever in your life exactly and that's mean you will die by diabetes, you idiot, and your cholesterol will be high because garlic and those plants are very useful. Exactly. Okay, okay, Zach and Nag. I think you are stuck with the word exactly today. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Take care, Zach and Nag. Take care. I have to hang up on you because you will not hang up as you said. <clears throat> Why does God, he got offended? I mean, how shallow, how stupid this religion is. When Muhammad, he said in the hadith, you know, when you pray, shaitan, he come from your, and take care from your back door. I mean, was Muhammad thinking? Or he is just an idiot speaking to a bunch of idiots around him. Shaitan will take care from your back door and he will not stop unless he straight the hair and he take it and he make you fart. Can this be true? And if this is true, I challenge those who YouTubers, Muslims, who make YouTube to defend Islam, to take a selfie for their bum, show us how much lose of hair they are suffering from. Because shaitan, he will do it to you each time you pray. If shaitan, he take five hair at least a day, how many hair you have there? <laughs> and shaitan will not stop taking hair from your bum, until he hear it and he smell it. What a religion. So we notice at the end of the day that Ahmad Mir Zoghlam, 
is a foolish man, same as Muhammad. Both they speak to a naive community of poor people trying to mislead them. But how in the world, in the time of we are educated and we have degrees and we go to school, in the age of the internet, we believe in both? How in the world, somebody he is an Ahmadiyya, he opened his website, which is the official website of Ahmadiyya. And by the way, I think they will take it off. Just wait, the Ahmadiyya now, they will report to their, they will say to them, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are posting here in our official website that Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he died because of a severe diarrhea. You need to take it off. Many Islamic websites, I show the reference from their website, they take it down after I make videos. The doctor issued a death certificate, but there was no mention of him dying by cholera, as alleged, or dying in the toilet, the doctor he will he will he will say where he died. <laughs> Instead, they are they they recorded it is complication arising from severe diarrhea. No doubt, no doubt, brothers and sisters, that suffering from diarrhea it would lead have led to the weakness and the eventual death. But doesn't mean that he died while he is in the toilet. This is the Ahmadiyya community defending their Messiah, false Messiah. They are trying to prove to us that he did not die in the toilet. Why? Because they found him in the top of his poopoo. He fall in the top of his poopoo. This is how he died. So not only he died because of diarrhea, he died in the top of his diarrhea. And with this, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I will try to be back again, maybe later if I can. If not, we see you tomorrow. Leave a comment. Tell me what topic you like to talk about. If I find it interesting, we will go for it. May the Lord bless you all. Very disappointed of the Ahmadiyya community who did not call us. We thought we, they would call us and they would prove us wrong. But it looked like they agree and they have nothing to say. They knew if they call us, that will not make any good point for them. In fact, we will show more and more reference. We will show how stupid this cult is. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. We are happy for our sister who called us. She was Ahmadiyya and she became a Christian. Uh, God bless her. And we need to mention here that the sister she mentioned that she did read the book of Nabil Qurashi. God bless his soul. And her, the book of, of a brother Nabil was the reason for her to leave Ahmadiyya cult and to accept Christ. So blessing to his soul, blessing to our sister. And this is why we encourage all of you that you don't know you will save the life of who even after you die when you do the fruit of the lord do what you need to do so you can save people and then the lord one day will say to you you save this and this and this your life what was not a waste people who have no fruits they need to be worried about what we are doing in this life what is our accomplishment there's many things we need to accomplish, but what about the most important thing, our salvation? Our salvation, it should be the top important thing to accomplish. And salvation in Christianity earned by saving others, not by focusing on yourself. And today we hear, we heard from this call from the lady who called us, Actually, I do not know the name of uh, Nabil's book, the one she mentioned. This is the first time I hear about it. Uh, I know he have a book, but I don't know what the name. I know a book, it's called I Seek Allah, I Found Jesus, something like this. But she mentioned different books she was reading, and it was the reason for her to leave the cult of Muhammad and the cult of Ahmad Mirza Ghulam. So bless those who do the good work, bless those who support it, bless those who translate the videos, bless those who translate my books, plus those who post again, because by your post, by your translation, by your help, we are working as a team, serving the Lord, loving the Muslims, helping them to leave such a stupid cult. This is literally a stupid cult. Doesn't fit to be even considered as a cult. It's so stupid. And sometimes you feel like, I mean, very, very crazy. I mean, how, 
how in the world a human being can believe in this? How a human being can be so shallow to believe in someone like Ahmad Mirza Ghulam or someone like Muhammad, the prophet of 14? Al Khomeini, he said to the Muslim Sunni, you have a huge library in the books of bathroom. Why? Because they have thousands and thousands of books, not about Allah, about what happened to you in the bathroom. That is Islam. But Al Khomeini is no better. He have books to teach you how to have sexual relationship with the children, how to molest them. He is no better. But you know, they are two religion fighting each other. And Ahmadiyya is no different. They try to use names you use, like Mary, Jesus, Gospel, but they have nothing to do with it. In fact, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam is a very antichrist person. And we prove it. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince. Wish you a good day. Happy Sunday. And may the Lord bless you all and keep you in good health and wealth. Take care.